die on it. I got to know the reason Christians are not making everything. People begin to wear the things of the world, attaching themselves to the system of the world, attaching themselves with the logistic ideologies of the marine world, how the marine world has presented the church at the world. The church has illuminately enter into it and mix the fraction together and they bring it they begin to bring the disco the decoration into the church this is in the era and the system whereby the church has been designed as a place of party you begin to see different lights shining on the altar in the level whereby the church has been soaked and have been swallowed by the spirit of fashions and the civilizations coming by coming from the mermaid and in the marine and world. these are the reasons no matter how you prove your holiness, your holiness cannot please God. Your holiness cannot be acceptable. And Ladies and gentlemen, you are about to listen to Apostle Peter Daniel, the man who has been taken to heaven and hell and has seen Jesus Christ face to face many times, a preacher who practiced total holiness and righteousness, both within and without. Apostle Peter Daniel has been sent by Jesus Christ to prepare the church for rapture, to correct the errors of the church and to expose the secret of the darkness. The message I want to speak about today is... Uh, the revelation of fashions and the marine world the revelation the fashions and the marine world i want you to listen carefully and uh, be in the spirit while you are listening please be in the spirit while you are listening the revelation of fashions and the marine world About some days ago, I was teaching. I was teaching the children of God. And all of a sudden, in, during the teaching, the revelations came in. There is, a, there is a, a slot in in the spirit. And this slot in bring the ideas of completely going back to the old time religions. And in this slotting of these revelations, the Lord began to open my eyes the more, clearly see, and He gave me the instance and give me the visions of the operations of the marine in the world and in the church. In conjunctions of these revelations, I remember the revelations Jesus Christ chose me when he took me to second heaven to go and see the devil. There are some demon I met there when I, I was taken away in the spirit to see the devil. The Lord showed me if you have watched my video, one of my video, my face to face with the devil, my encounter with the devil. In second heaven, if you watch, you can go to my YouTube channel in Apostle Daniel. Just search it, you are going to see it there. In that revelations, I remember vividly and clearly the kind of demons I saw there. One of these demons is Jezebel. This Jezebel spirit is the one in charge of the fashions is the one in charge of fashions and is the one in charge of corrupting the world and the church to the level that it is now now listen to me very well i remembered because there are many demons i saw in second heaven 
But one of them is what I'm saying now. This demon is the one that is in charge of women wearing trousers, women painting their face, women wearing tight, what they call tight, women wearing all these kind of things, using powder, lipsticks, are uh, doing your hair, whether it is natural or you are putting something there, wearing a tight cloth and a slim fitted cloth, and so on and so forth. This demons is the one in charge of it. Now, the Lord was speaking through me about a few days ago, through the message, and when I came back, he continued the speakings and began to give me the insight and the revelations of how the devils have crept in into the church and how the Christian of God, the Christians, I mean the children of God, are not making heaven. I'm still coming. Now, he gave me this insight and this revelation. And he, he, and he, he, in that I got to know the reason Christians are not making heaven again. Now, there is a one saying of a woman who is who said that she has been dining, dining and been eating with the devil. Who has been seen as a serious worker of the devil and as a one of the very powerful agents that the devil use on earth to destroy the children of God and to destroy the church. This agent of the devil won't say something. He said that before in heaven that no one is making heaven, but at the time that. He mentioned it according to Ashe. He said, at the time that a prophet called Apostle Joseph Ayo Babalola, who happened to be one of the president of funders of CAC, Christ Apostolic Church, he said, Apostle Joseph Ayo Babalola, when he came and began to preach gospel, that that is when they begin to account for little, little souls that are making heaven. He said, according to Ashe, he said, at that time, no one were making heaven. It was when Apostle came that was preaching and was letting people to know the power of holiness and righteousness and how people can walk with God in the right standard that people now begin to get the real message and people begin to enter heaven. He said then, for one all good years, no one is entering. But when apostle came, two people begin to enter. Three begin to enter. The highest five people are entering. Now, if you look at that word and at that statement, you will go to know very well what is happening. According to a research, people who are dying every day is more than 6,000 to 33,000 people. Over 30,000 people are dying every day. Now, for a complete whole years, about more than uh, 54 million people are dying for the whole year all over the world. People that are dying all over the world every year. Now, imagine 53, let us imagine 53 million people standing. I don't know how sure it was, but that is how I was. Now, about 53 people, over 15 people, standing on the judgment throne, and none of them is making heaven. Now, listen to me. I'm still bringing, I'm still going to the point now. He said, when Apostle came, out of 53 people that were going to air fire, only three or two, three, four, five people have started making heaven. When Apostle came. Now, Apostle Joseph Arola have died. We know about the story. We know how God used him to break down the powers of darkness. And holiness was turned as a restanding message of the church. He has died. We are now in the era. In the time of Babalola, his time uh, he was not as corrupted like this one. The time of Babalola, 
we only know that in that time of babalola in that time there is much darkness there is much witchcraft there is much satanism in that time evils and wickedness have been practiced as a normal daily life in that time but listen to me at that time there's nothing like a minister at that time there's nothing like a lustfulness at, at that time there's nothing like gay when they see you every gay they kill you straight away because they will see you as a, another ent entity another personality amen they will see you as another personality if they see you that you are doing gay now in that time, I'm just trying to refer the time there and now. Refer it. If you have to compare, because Jesus Christ was telling me the same thing. I am not saying that I am standing the message on what the agent of the devil says. But I am telling you that Jesus Christ told me the same thing. It was a right message that people are few going to heaven at that time now listen to me apostles have died we are now in the most corruptible generations whereby it is now known that our own generation is more corrupted than Sodom and Gomorrah even the sin that Sodom and Gomorrah did not commit we committed it well, well, well. The same Sodom and Gomorrah committed that made God to destroy them and send down if of fire to them to burn them down. We committed the worst one. In the time of Sodom and Gomorrah, they voluntarily put themselves into was idol worshiping, which was a normal law at that time. In our time, we people are not just worshiping idol, they are killing and doing ritual with people. Fornication has crept in into the church. Many kind of evil things that people cannot even hear into their ear are inside the church. At that time, there's nothing like human being sleeping with an animal. But right now, in our time, we are seeing human being that we come with a dog and get married to a dog animal you will see a man sleeping with a animal you will see a lady sleeping with animal it has become a normality a normal life for them a system whereby they begin to see it as a normal living in this our generation now coming back to the revelations of fashions the lord told me according to what is he show me and he explained to me in the vision after i received the message through my message when the holy spirit struck it in now the lord was saying that anyone who does not go back to the old time religions will not make heaven he said at the city now christians are not making heaven I'm going to tell you the reasons. The reason why we are shouting for the old oral get cross, the old time religions, Papa Pali Vasaba. The reason why we are shouting for these things was because number one, in the old time religions, in that time. People who gave their life to Christ genuinely give it to them. People who surrender their life to Jesus Christ genuinely surrender. They did not forcefully, they did not faithfully, they did not deceitfully. There is no hypocrite in Christendom. Ay! But in our own generations, where we claim that the gospel is all around. 
where we believe that church is everywhere that is where you will see people coming out crying fake tears about repentance which he will go back home and still go and fornicate number one the faith the power of the gospel has been so ridiculed has been so ridiculed and has, has been so bastardized in the christian dom people begin to wear the things of the world attaching themselves to the system of the world attaching themselves with the logistic ideologies of the marine world how the marine world has presented the church at the world the church has Illuminately enter into it and mix the fraction together and they bring it they begin to bring the disco the decoration into the church this is in the era and the system whereby the church has been designed as a place of party you begin to see different lines shining on the altar in the level whereby the church has been soaked and have been swallowed by the spirit of fashions and the civilizations coming by coming from the mermaid and in the marine world marine world in the mermaid world and these are the reasons no matter how you prove your holiness your holiness cannot please god your holiness cannot be acceptable because it has not yet getting to the level of the old time religions in that old time religions and the message when the old time christians are still christians when the christians are still christians the clothes they wear is not like the way i'm wearing i have to tell you the truth see the clothes i'm wearing myself i'm wearing a slim fitted clothes which is totally wrong see listen to me i'm not a pastor that priest that will just come out and begin to deceive you i'm telling you reality i myself when the lord finished speaking with me i see myself as somebody who need to be qualified to make heaven i have not yet go and resow my clothes that's why i'm still wearing this clothes because in the old time religions there's nothing like significant clothes you have to wear a bigger clothes more than your size now today christian begin to wear clothes that will sleep fitted that will make them to see the shape of their chest shape of their body in those days men wear bigger clothes that is not sleep fitted sleep fitted clothes come from the mermaid i can't when god was speaking to me my mentality now go he said god told me he said even in his kingdom it is big clothes they wear you will never see an angel come with you with a body hawk clothes like the one i wear here it's just that god just spoke to me about it and i have not yet show a new one all these clothes will be totally abandoned by the special grace of god you have to go to a level where women are covered if they are you are if the cloth you are wearing is this fitted to you that will carry out your sheep you are ending to hell because it is the spirit of fashions that bring in sleep fitted cloth sleep fitted cloth ah but i post you this cloth is uh it, no no it is uh, my fitted but it's long it doesn't matter go and wear yeri Go and wear a bigger cloth. Let me tell you the reason why it is. When you wear a bigger cloth, more than your size, it's an act of humility. What is inside you going to a tailor and tell a tailor that, please give me this side. I want to show me this side so that I can look good. Who are you looking good for? What is the meaning of I can look good? What is the meaning? It is fashion. Looking good to please your husband, it is fashion. Looking good to please yourself, it is the spirit of fashion. And if you are with the spirit of fashion, you will never make heaven. Do you know why? 
God is a God of yesterday, today, and forever. He will not compromise the message of those things. And now, he, I remember in the times past when the people are still serving God with the road old red get cross. Cross. When you wear a slim fitted cloth, they will believe that you are a a a a, a thug or a, a a prostitute. Yes, sir. Yes, ma. I went into history, sir. I went into the new history, and I went to go and make a research about the old clothes they are wearing there. I got to know that even prostitutes are not wearing slim fitted clothes. In the old thing days, prostitutes are wearing clothes that that will cover their body. The Bible tells us about a prostitute in the Bible. Hey, <laughs> Kala Falaba, there is a prostitute in the Bible that the Bible explained to us. Who tempted Judah? And Judah slept with her, not knowing that it was his own son's wife, this, his son that was that has died, wife, who went to go and become an adult. The Bible says Judah did not know she is the one. Why? Because she covered her face, covered her whole body. Even the prostitutes in the Bible are covering their body. But in these days, Christians are wearing tight clothes like myself. A sister will wear a cloth that will tight, but the, 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 the bottom side will just fear. Let everything be fear. Don't wear tight one again. They are all fashions of this world. It was not so at the beginning. It was a slanting. The devil slotted it inside. He slotted it inside. So as to what? To bring down the Christian and to make them go to hell, and that is why the Lord was telling me that is why many people are going to hell every day. I, you will live your only life, Christian, on earth before you know anything. You are in hell. Bef you will now be wondering that uh, with all your holiness, your righteousness your service to god what eventually bring you to hell your dressing yes in your heart you say god is yes god look at your heart it's true but your body also matters because your body was not for you it's not for you and it was not for you the bible says is the temple of the holy spirit it has been purchased with a price by the blood of jesus it has been purchased with a pride, but with a price by the blood of Jesus. So if the body is no more your own, it belongs to Jesus. So anything you do with that body matters a lot. Don't tell me that you can wear crosses. I went to go into history research and I found out that crosses were slick in. In the olden days, women, women that wear crosses are killed. I mean, I, 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 I arrested. In fact, you cannot even see a woman wearing trousers. According to what I had in the history, if you wear a skirt that is not long, the police will come and arrest you. In this white country, in the old, 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 old days. I don't know, because of work or whatsoever. According to what I, I said, because of the work the people were doing, that was so heavy. So they begin to slug in trusses for the workers, women workers, that when they finish their working, they will off it again. And one small, small, one level or the other, the trusses start begin to enter in the world 
why war they now see it as a normal thing it was not so at the beginning women don't wear trousers at the beginning at the beginning there's nothing like worthiness at the beginning at the beginning people respected god at the beginning people are living holy life even though they are they are they are they are worthy even worthy people who are not born again they are not dressing nakedly they are not dressing anyhow they are not wearing trousers at the beginning it was not in by the spirit of disabled it was a slotting and you have hijacked it the church have hijacked it deeper life at a jacket holiness have a jacket every touch of a jacket you have to go back to 11 whereby you were go and look at the pictures picture of the old days women old days women see the clothes they wear the clothes is always covering their neck cover their hands cover some people are even with using gloves using gloves to cover their hands they don't want any of their part to be seen only their husband saw that only their husband can see it they don't want any of their part to be seen all all their hands are covered all their legs are covered everything are covered everything are covered in the old days everything are covered everything are covered in those days what happened to the church what makes the church to be like this in the old days things are not like this yes they are not like this in the olden days they are not like this but all of a sudden all of a sudden teach change teach change all of a sudden all of a sudden teach change people begin to live a, 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 a demonic life church begin to live a demonic life teach change all of a sudden just all of a sudden all of a sudden teaching change all of a sudden are we going to go back to the time that god wants us to be back to the time we are still serving in the right life the time we are still we are still in the right standing with god let me tell you something i told my people i said as long as i'm alive and i'm still living by the grace of the living god people will live only by force i will come to hijack you i will come to come and force you but i will tell you the truth i'm telling you i will tell you the truth in those old days listen to me what how we got to know that women are truly born again at the submission they gave to their husband in those early days there's nothing like dear babe baby sweetheart no kind of sweet word in those days they called their husband daddy my lord the christian of those days when holiness is still holiness ah! where is you you not say you not say it's a it's a act of love that you are saying baby your father you may call your baba your father baby your papa the Bible said that the person who next to God for your life is your husband. We got to know about their humility and their gentleness in their husband house. Even the one that marry a sinner will still be humble and gentle. But now Christians are now rude to their husbands. Christianity has become fake. We know, there's no more love. We cannot trust each other. I can't trust you, you can't trust me. I can't trust you, you can't trust me again. Because it has come to that level. It has come to that level. No more love. No more anything. No more. In those days, when a brother see a brother, it will be as if he has win a lot, he has win a big money. Or somebody give him something. He will be very happy. They will all themselves. Bro, you are happy. And do you know what? They don't waste their time talking like you do with your friends. When a brother see brothers, ah, they say, bro, let's go and pray. They use most of their time praying and studying the word of God, teaching themselves how to grow in the spirit. But now it's not so. Phone has carried out your time. Phone, televisions, has carried out the time of God in your life. And you want to make heaven? Ah, 
Listen to me. God can the standard of God cannot change now. It can't change. Before you know, you go to Facebook, 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 YouTube, 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 Instagram, sha, Twitter, sha. You go WhatsApp, you WhatsApp, WhatsApp, WhatsApp. Spend times, wasting times in God's presence. When we come to prayer, when we begin to pray, fifteen minutes prayer, begin to do. And you say we want to make heaven. How will you make heaven? You can't listen to me. Heaven will not be a play, play, place now. Oh God, it can. Oh God, somebody is now saying that uh, he said God is not looking at our appearance. That it is our heart that God look at. Why don't God put O for your hair when you are coming to the world? Why did He put in your ring for your hair when it was when you are coming to the world? Why do you see attachment for your hair when you are coming to the world? Somebody give a quote. He said, "If God can accept somebody who is using using worldliness, what the ring and attachment, he said, then heaven will also accept a thief with a gun." Yes. In his hand, he will also accept it, and I agree with that quote. Listen to me, you cannot go to heaven with things that is not is not is not given to you in those days. Women are not using any they they submit their art, their art are consecrated to God. The belief the things of the world is in distractions in those days, even though they have not gotten the secret of these things that it was from marine and it was it, it was it was not in from the marine world, but they still believe in their heart that it was a distraction that they want to look natural. They are not plating their hair, plating of hair came from from the from 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 the Pagans, those who are worshiping idols, that is where plating of their natural air came from. Came worship where plating of their natural air came from. Those who are worshiping pagan, worshiping pagans. It was a covenant between them and the idols. Idols to show their loyalty and faithfulness. That's where natural plating came from. Women are not plating their hair before. They only comb it and pack it. And I show that they do them before. Things are changing now. It are changing now, and God cannot compromise His world. You will make heaven with it. You cannot make it. It's not possible. Oh, it's not possible. I'm telling you the truth. It can never be possible. Because if you die now, with that Christianity you believe you are doing, you will go to heaven. The Christianity of civilization or fashions. You have to come to a humility. God is calling Christian to a humility act. A kind of humility that things, you, it, things will not be important to you. Those who have two shoes will go and give to their neighbor one shoe. A humble life of wearing a cloak that is, it, it is, it is not important. God did not want his children to use expensive things. Forget I said that God is a God of wedding. His God is wedding. God wants his children to be good. Yes. But he didn't want you to use expensive things. He wanted to teach you humility. And this humility is from Jesus Christ. The Bible says, it said Jesus was born in a manger. Among the cows, among the animal, it was Jesus Christ that made the decision to be born there. Where well, the father was saying that, I said, where are you going to be born? He said, let me be born among the animal. I want to show the humility part of myself. A king that come to be born in an animal. Have you ever heard it that a president, a president son or daughter is being born in a local hospital? Never. You not go to a, a, a place of a clinic. You not go and be born there. Never. But Jesus Christ showed his heart of humility. When God was trying to show the family is going to come from, Jesus Christ shows the most last born family. The family that is a poorest family. In the family of Mary, 
the mother of Jesus Christ. Anybody who is a carpenter is a research person among them. They believe in the, the carpenter is a rich person. That is how poor they are. That's how the level of poorness they have become. But Jesus Christ shows to be in the poorest family. The poorest one, the poorest state family. He went there, he said, God, take me here. I wanted to be, to be born here. To show his humility. He's God, he's the one that created you. He grew up among the bedroom of the poor people. Jesus were not wearing expensive clothes like you are doing. The people he took as his friend, they were poor people. People who are fishing, who are fishing to hell to eat. It is not politicians. He lived a humility and a, 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 and a gentle, quiet lives. To show his humility and you say you are following jesus and just like i said follow me as are you following jesus right now you are living an expensive life you are building a beautiful houses you are buying expensive cars you have a lot of money in your cupboard the poor are there suffering. I'm telling you. And you want to make heaven with it. Wait, who do you even think God is now? Do you think God's judgment is like a human being judgment? I want to ask you a question. Who do you even think God is? Let me, I just want to know the question. Who do you actually think God is? I want to know. Do you think that, that God is just a somebody that we just... Ah, no, 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 no. He will judge you according to his law. You have to come back to that humble life whereby you wear something not reasonable. Let them tell you that which kind of Christianity is this that is not making you to dress well. Yes, tell them that dressing well is from fashion. I know you might laugh and say what is opposed to collecting again. You might say I'm a rascal Christianity, preaching rascal message, but that is the way of the old rugged cross. Old rugged cross. Don't dress too well. Don't be too beautiful. Listen to me very well. I know what I'm saying. You might tell me that uh, apostle is preaching and I but this is the actual truth. Fashion came from the man made. There is a, a there is a, 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 a Christian sisters. I read the story. I will say this and I will end the message. This Christian sister, according to what I read about her, I was told in that book that she was very, very, very beautiful. The men in the street cannot just do without building a building. And this sister sees it as a kind of uh, distraction. He sees it as a great distraction to her. And he went to her and said, Lord, I beg you, take away this beauty. A sister, oh, listen to me. A sister. He said, take away this beauty. When I was studying the books, I said, I said, which kind of prayer is this sister praying? God gave you beauty. You are telling God to take away the beauty. God did not answer her. The sister keep praying, 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 and crying to God. God now see the seriousness of her heart and the love it sincerely has for him. And God took away the beauty and make him to begin to have some little rashes on her face. And from that moment, people begin to reduce the way they look at her. Beloved, if a sister of the old record, or, or the, the same cross you said you are carrying, now need the sister they carry. And he has a heart to please God to the level that his life became a meaningless to himself. He said, he that must be my disciple must forsake himself. He must reject himself. He must be ready to die for me. That is what will make him qualify to be child of God. First Peter chapter 3 verse 10, it can never change. That women should know well anything gold your ring are all plate that here you can go and study this yourself first test, uh, timothy chapter 2 verse 9 to also say the same thing the tarot chapter 22 verse 5 go and look at it you can also say the same thing about women isaiah chapter 3 also they say the same thing 
go and study it yourself. But I'm trying to tell you this that without you living a life on anything called fashion, take it away from your life. Because God said to me that people are not making heaven again. Christians are not making heaven again. It is now this that they are now doing drama in the church. I mean in the church, not outside the church. If you do it outside the church, no problem. But in the church, you are not doing drama. A uh, sister have a boyfriend. These kind of things are nonsense. Choreography. All these kind of things. Jokes that we bring comedies into the house of God. You can't make heaven with it. Repent now before you die. Because if you die now, you have had it. It is better you don't hear it at all than you hear it and don't repent. Even though you don't hear it, the standard is still there and it's still, be, it's going, it's still going to be judged. Please, don't just stop there. Please, as you are watching me right now, subscribe to the channel. Press the notification button. Do it for me. Press the like button. Comment. Then share it. This one is the most important one. Share it to all your friends, family, and people. The reason is because if you don't do that, their blood is upon you. If you hear it and you do share for people to, to lead and to get saved, God will ask you. God bless you. And you are blessed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Bye. Thank you for watching this wonderful testimony. Many powerful and inspirational testimony will be shared in this Heaven and Hell channel. So, if you have any dream or testimony about the event of the end, or if you need counseling or you want to partner and support this ministry, kindly WhatsApp Apostle Peter Daniel on plus 234,813,896. Sixty two eighty seven. Please WhatsApp only. This is to inform you that God has commanded all the saints in the world to gather for his coming. So if you want to join the school of heaven, you may WhatsApp the apostle on plus two three four eight one three eight nine six six two eight seven. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, press the notification button and to share it to all your family and friends. May God bless him and sustain you in Jesus name. Amen. Shalom.